You know, haters have been around since the dawn of mankind. Look at Adam and Eve, their first children, Cain and Abel. Cain was very jealous of his brother's successful hard work. What did he do? He killed him. King David, as a young man, was very successful, even killing the giant Goliath. However, what happened? King Saul hunted him down and tried to murder him on numerous occasions. Why? Because he felt jealous and threatened by David. History is riddled with greed, money, and power struggles all throughout history. From ancient Israel to Rome, all the way down to present world day powers. And you know, it trickles down to every trade and every human. And that's why people say, well, it's human nature. And guess what? It is human nature, but it's the bad side. You know, if that wasn't bad enough, now there's a new way to hate. What is that? The internet. You know, at its inception, there was basically just websites or forums where there was a little bit of haters. But now with the creation of social media and you putting all your success out there, hundreds of thousands or millions or even a billion people can see it. That makes you a huge target for haters. Over the last 40 years of owning my own successful businesses, I've had my fair share of haters. You know, through the decades, I've had family, friends, and businesses who have tried to undermine or even damage my business. Now, why do people do this and what can you do to offset haters? First off, what is a hater? A hater is defined as someone who speaks negatively of those who are usually more successful than they are, or they try to undermine or to try to damage or try to discourage them from reaching their goals. However, I found there's something much more deeper going on. And if you can figure out what that is, you can go ahead and unleash your potential for true success. What is it? It's called projection, namely psychological projection. Basically, a hater is assigning to others what they hate about themselves. Whether it's a lack of motivation, or the inability to fulfill their own goals, or the fact they just hate to see others succeed. Uh, that's why the expression came about, those who are pointing fingers generally have four fingers pointing back. So people who project, I found in life, are usually the worst offenders. So what can you do about it since words can be toxic? First, never engage haters. True haters, that is. Now, if you're not sure, go ahead and reason with the person. However, I'm of the belief, if reason leaves the conversation, that's reason to leave the conversation. You know, my father, he was old school. He would say, son, you know, the more you stir poo, the worse it smells. However, I like even better what the great teacher said. He said, never throw your pearls before swine or before dogs because they'll just trample them underfoot. Likewise, haters have no appreciation for all the hard work, energy, and financial effort that went into your success. So what is the key to dealing with haters? You have to train yourself to flip the switch on haters. There's two ways to do this. Number one is discard them from your life. Block them, don't answer their calls, no matter what it is, get them out of your life. All they're going to do is slow you down from reaching your goals and your true potential. Number two, if you're like me, you'll go ahead and use their words to motivate you. For example, at the turn of this year, somebody came onto my YouTube channel and said, for the love of God, Rob, at least start doing some push-ups. You really let yourself go. And you know, I went ahead and looked at those words and he had a good point. So I started doing hundreds of push-ups, hundreds of jumping jacks, and hundreds of jump ropes every single day. I even installed a weight gym here at my location so I can keep myself in good shape. So it goes to show you other people's words can be used to motivate you business-wise and personally. Lastly, remember, they don't hate you, they hate themselves. They are actually projecting. You, on the other hand, keep your nose to the grindstone and success will not elude you.